In this video, we are going to talk about Swati Nakshatras, Padas, Symbolism and more. So keep watching. Namaste and welcome to Pramanic Astrology channel. Before we start talking about Swati Nakshatra, if you want to learn Vedic Astrology step by step without spending thousands of dollars on Vedic Astrology courses, even if you have no prior background to Vedic Astrology, Join me on 33 Days Vedic Astrology Bootcamp. Link is in the description. See you on the other side of the course. Namaste and welcome to Pramanic Astrology channel. I'm your host Prasad Mahajani. Help you raise your vibrations and become your true self with the help of Vedic Astrology. And if you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing. Swati Nakshatra. Swati Nakshatra ranges from 6 degrees 40 minutes of Libra to the 20 degrees of the Libra. Complete range of this Nakshatra lies into the sign of Libra. Okay, now let's talk about the uh, Dasha ruler. Swati Nakshatra is Dasha ruled by Rahu. So you will, you will experience all the qualities of Rahu on this Nakshatra. Okay. When you have Swati Nakshatra, when you have moon placed into the Swati Nakshatra, your Dasha sequence will start from Rahu. Your first Dasha will be Rahu, then it will be Jupiter, Saturn, Mercury, Ketu, Venus and so on. Now, let's talk about the symbolism of the Swati Nakshatra. Swati Nakshatra, the symbolism associated with this Nakshatra are the corals, the sword and the grass blades are associated with the Swati Nakshatra. And if you look at all the symbolism, it shows Swati is an independent Nakshatra. Is a Nakshatra who has the critical nature to some extent, but this is different from Kritika and Ashwini. Let's talk about the deity associated with the Swati Nakshatra. Deity associated with Swati Nakshatra is Vayu. Okay, Vayu is wind and this is one of the core deities in the creation. The five elements of creation, air element, Vayu Tattva is one of the fundamental element of creation. And this is the presiding deity. This is one of the main deities of the Swati Nakshatra. So you will experience all the Vayu Tattva qualities into the Swati Nakshatra. Rahu is ruling this nakshatra, Dasha ruling this nakshatra, but more importantly, Vayu is the deity of this nakshatra. And when we think of Vayu, when I, whenever I think of Vayu, two deities come to my mind. One is Lord Hanuman. Okay, Lord Hanuman is the son of the Vayu. And another one is from Mahavarta, which is Bhim. Okay, and this Vayu Tattva is also associated with the Kubera as well and wind is coming in. Yes, this is the confirmation from the universe. Thank you God. This is wind. This is Swati Nakshatra. This is the deity of the Swati Nakshatra. Okay, next is the nature of the Swati Nakshatra. Nature of the Swati Nakshatra is the combination of the Vayu and the Rahu. These people, Swati Nakshatra people love to travel. Just like wind, they like to go to any direction. They will travel all along the world. They might have a dream to travel the world and film it. Why I'm saying film it? Because it's about Rahu. Rahu is about the camera. And Swati is all about the, Swati is all about the travel. I see so many people with the Swati Nakshatra settled into the foreign lands. I see a lot of people who have acquired the material wealth beyond their imagination have the Swati Nakshatra. Swati Nakshatra is about the balance because it's in Libra. More importantly, Rahu and Vayu Tattva qualities, you will see them. Like these are the people who might stop you in an argument, might cut you in an argument. The sword, the quality of sword you will see if you are arguing with the Swati Nakshatra person. Okay, and wind is not stopping. I'm loving this. Thank you, God. So, Swati Nakshatra. One of the one of the thing about Swati Nakshatra is about the ethics, is about the morals, dedication, 
and what you can learn from Hanuman. Hanuman itself is the ultimate level of dedication one can have, right? The love for anything. So these people, if they have love for something, they can devote their life to. Just like Hanuman devoted his life to Lord Rama. Okay? Whenever I, whenever I see the stories of Hanuman, we see the devotion. We see so much love for Lord Ram in the heart of Hanuman. That is Swati Nakshatra. They are, but again, just like Hanuman, they have to be reminded. Somebody has to remind them of their powers. Somebody has to remind them of their powers. And uh, there is one story with, there is one story around the same with the Hanumana. Somebody has to remind him of his powers. Okay. And one more story I remember from Mahabharata when Lord Hanuman was meeting the Bhima. Okay. That is also an interesting story. Maybe some uh, in some other video I, I might quote that. But if you want to know more about the Swati Nakshatra, read the Hanumana and just listen, like study the qualities of Hanumana. Okay, his life itself is, uh, is complete dedication. Okay, we all love Lord Hanuman. Since childhood, we have so many stories. We have heard so many stories about Lord Hanuman, right? And he is listening to us right now. On the downside, Swati Nakshatra person can experience a couple of problems. One is the uh, problem with the power problem with the government and other thing is they may not act you might think they are indifferent but they are highly capable and once they get involved once they get the direction unstoppable energy okay so you 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 might have the tenth lord into the Swati Nakshatra, ascendant lord into the Swati Nakshatra. Just apply all these qualities to the Swati Nakshatra, and you will have far better understanding of the Swati Nakshatra energy. Okay. Another problem with the Swati Nakshatra. We talked about the problem with the government. Wind is coming. Yes, I'm loving this. Wind. <laughs> the problem with the government, and another problem with the taking action because this is a passive nakshatra okay another thing about swati nakshatra is it's all about the foreign things it's about the travel we discussed about travel but more so about the foreign travel swati nakshatra is about waiting and patience that's why Saturn gets exalted into the sign of Libra, more so into the sign of Swati, let's say in third pada, in the Aquarius Navamsha. And here Saturn loves the patience, waiting, and hard work, dedication, structure, order, discipline. All these things can be seen with the Swati Nakshatra person. Okay, all the Saturnian qualities along with the Rahu qualities can be seen with the person. Uh, the Swati uh, Nakshatra person. Okay. Sun here gets debilitated into the Swati Nakshatra. Why Sun gets debilitated into the Swati Nakshatra? Okay. Here Swati is the name of the wife of Sun. Okay. So Sun gets exalted into the airy sign where he is in his element. Fire sign, self, you know. So he loves there. So he is all about self, soul. And that's what sun represents but here in the libra it's like he is always dealing with the other people and he is not comfortable with you know mingling with the ordinary people he is king so that's why he gets debilitated into the sign of libra okay so there is also one story in purana regarding the wife of the sun you can also go and check that as well to understand more about that Swati Nakshatra has four padas, Sagittarius, Capricorn, Aquarius and Pisces. First pada of the Swati Nakshatra ranges from 6 degrees 40 minutes to 10th degree of Libra sign 
goes into the Sagittarius Namamsha. Now here you will experience all the higher qualities of the Jupiter, like higher belief, spirituality, travel, all these things can be seen in this native with a person having any planet. So the one of the important thing about Sagittarius is though it's a fire element sign, no planet gets debilitated or exalted into this sign. But Mars, Jupiter and Sun will do, uh, will excel into this position because of their fire nature and friendly association can do better into this Pada. Sun will get debilitated into the sign of Libra in the D1 but it will go into the Sagittarius sign. Okay, and there is one more thing about the sun. We'll talk about it later. Second pada of Swati Nakshatra ranges from 10 degrees to 13 degrees 20 minutes and goes through the Capricorn Navamsha. And Capricorn sign is the most practical, finance oriented, materially oriented sign, which is about the hard work <coughs> and more so about the practical nature. That's why the expansive wise optimistic Jupiter gets debilitated here right but debilitation does not mean bad exaltation does not mean good it's just one dignity you have to you have to look at many more things but yes good dignity shows good lajitadi avasthas as well and so on but don't just rely on the singular dignity Analyze the chart in depth before you can conclude about the impact of that planet on the chart. Okay, next is the third pada of the Swati Nakshatra ranges from 13 degrees 20 minutes to the 16 degrees 40 minutes and it goes into the Aquarius Navamsha. Aquarius is all about creativity, learning and scientific approach. It's about the new age technology. Rahu into this pada, excellent it will also make that person travel even more because of the airy aquarius sign into the third pada right so if you have any planet placed into the d1 chart we'll go into the aquarius sign in the d9 chart okay let's say you have saturn exalted into the um, libra is going into the aquarius in its own sign amazing okay Next is the fourth pada. Fourth pada of this nakshatra ranges from 16 degrees 40 minutes to the 20 minutes, 20 degrees, not 20 minutes, 20 degrees of the Libra sign. And this is the Pushkar Navamsha. But always look at the Navamsha. Pisces is like Pisces is sixth from the Libra. So in a way, this is a challenging Navamsha, but at the same time, it's the Pushkar Navamsha. So any planet placed in here, let's say you have Venus placed in here. So you might face challenges with respect to your relationship, but those relationships, those challenges will, will that, that change will bring in something good in your life. Okay, any challenge with this Navamsha will be appreciated by the person, will help that person to grow. Okay, so yes, this was Swati Nakshatra as much as I could hold, grasp and share with you guys. If you want to learn Vedic Astrology step by step, join me on 33 days Vedic Astrology Bootcamp or these two videos on your screen will help you to deep dive into Vedic Astrology, sending you tons of positive energy, sending you high vibrations. See you in the next videos, love and peace. And if you have any queries or questions, comments, put them into the comment section. I read all the comments and I reply to all the comments. Namaste.